this is uh, hi i am dr Par parviz anagrishi today our topic is nose and paranasal sinuses this is a drill session containing nose and paranasal sinuses my dear brothers and sisters what is lateral wall of nose now we have to talk about lateral wall of nose lateral wall of nose it has three projections called a turbinates we have inferior turbinate middle turbinate and superior turbinate now another term is meatus is superior below turbinate it is the space below turbinate we have inferior meatus below the inferior turbinate middle meatus below the middle meat and superior turbinate below the superior meatus okay superior ter turbinate now we have what is the co conca conca is bony part of a turbinate bony part of a turbinate is known as conca and we have the inferior conca middle conca and superior conca we have what is inferior conca it is an independent bone inferior conca is an independent bone and middle and superior conca it is part of ethmoid bone it is part of ethmoid bone cona cona is posterior opening of nasal cavity into the nasopharynx that is cona what is conal atresia conal atresia is uh, due to persistence of bucco nasal membrane persistence of bucco nasal membrane so we have bilateral complete conal atresia is a neonatal airway emergency it is a neonatal airway emergency uh, bucco bcc b because uh, infants are obligatory nasal breathers they don't know how to uh, breathe through mouth it is an a complete conal atresia is an emergency clinical features are blue baby turning pink on crying when there is a blue baby and it turns pink when it cries then it is called as um, it is a sign of complete conal atresia tracheostomy we have to go for tracheostomy then corrective surgery at 1 to 1.5 years of age this baby has to be tracheostomized we need tracheostomy in these patients okay inferior turbinate is longest turbinate inferior turbinate is longest turbinate some people have extra turbinate above superior called supreme turbinate some people have supreme turbinate now we have paranasal sinuses these are mucus lined mucosa lined air filled hollow cavities in skull bones okay in pns are lined by respiratory mucosa pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium we have this mucosa secretes mucus which is drained into the nose with help of ciliary uh, motility now each sinus drains into a specific area of nose turbinate through its opening called ostium okay through its opening called ostium nasal cilia moves backwards towards cona at speed of 10 to 20 beats per second to push mucus towards nasopharynx ladies and gentlemen we have nasal nasal mucociliary clearance time is 10 to 20 minutes 10 to 20 minutes is the nasociliary clearance sinuses are vertical ventilated during expiration sinuses are ventilated during expiration there are four pairs of sinuses maxillary sinus also called as antrum of higmore it is largest sinus volume is 15 ml it is the first sinus to appear in the embryological life most common sin, uh, sinusitis in adult is maxillary sinusitis tear drop opacity on ct scan is seen in fracture of floor of orbit tear drop opacity on ct is seen in fracture of floor of orbit inferior wall of maxillary sinus is related to second premolar and first molar dental extraction can lead to oroantral fistula Fronto, frontal sinus last sinus to appear in humans is frontal sinus first uh, radiological evidence of frontal sinus is seen at six years of age so we don't have six up to six years of age it is the first radiological appearance it is the last to appear it is most asymmetric pair of sinuses uh, it is a different size they are different in size we have saphenoid sinus 
it lies in body of supinoid bone which lies behind the orbit or ethmoid bone first radiological evidence of supinoid sinus appears at 4 years of age there are three patterns of pneumatization of supinoid sinus conchal precellar cellar or post cellar most common cella cella tertia which holds pituitary gland we have cella tertia which holds pituitary gland now we have concha concha lies in the body of sphenoid cella or pituitary gland and we have precellar that is a uh, precellar before the cella we have post cellar which is most common type most common type we have three patterns of pneumatization of sphenoid sinus conchal precellar and cellar conchal precellar and cellar we have best surgical approach for pituitary adenoma is transnasal transsphenoid approach and sphenoid sinus is in close relation to cavernous sinus so sphenoid sinus can cause cavernous sinus thrombosis optic nerve and internal carotid artery sphenoid surgery can have two complications optic nerve injury in ica rupture internal carotid artery rupture ethmoid sinus ethmoid air cells lies in the ethmoid air cells ethmoid is a single bone between two orbits it is a single bone between two orbits cribriform palate and crista galli or it is two roof we have cribriform palate and crista galli crista galli now we have these are the two orbits and it is it lie, lies like this it is a single bone between it is a single bone okay olfactory neurons pass through cribriform palate so this is the cribriform palate olfactory neurons pass through olfactory neurons pass through perpendicular palate of ethmoid we have like this perpendicular palate of ethmoid and lamina papricia lies on the between the orbit and the ethmoid bone lamina papricia forms part of medial wall of orbit medial wall of orbit is lamina papricia part of perpendicular palate of ethmoid forms part of nasal septum perpendicular part of ethmoid forms part of nasal septum ethmoid air cells are di divided into two groups by a bony septum called ground or basal lamella two uh, basal lamella or ground lamella divides eth ethmoid cells into two groups so if basal this is the basal or ground lamella or basal lamella these are the anterior we have the anterior ethmoid cells anterior group of ethmoid cells and posterior group of ethmoid cells right we have here so we have like this anterior anterior and posterior it lies like this okay ground lamella divides into anterior what is between anterior ethmoid cells and posterior ethmoid cells ground lamella basal lamella anterior group two to eight constant cells bulla ethmoidalis mos and agarnasi constant cells are what are the constant cells bulla ethmoidalis and agarnasi what are the posterior group 1 to 8 what is the anterior group 2 to 8 cells number of cells is 2 to 8 now we have bulla ethmoidalis is most concentrated and largest anterior ethmoidal cell bulla ethmoidalis largest most constant agarnasi is anterior most anterior ethmoidal cell agarnasi most anterior ethmoidal air cell is agarnasi most constant air anterior ethmoidal cell is bulla ethmoidalis in some people ethmoidal cells can grow in three unusual sites we have in some cases there are three unusual sites in orbital floor halar cells we have in some cases ethmoidal cells can grow in three unusual sites orbital floor halar cells if they go in the orbital floor like orbital floor okay they grow through the orbital floor they are called halar cells halar cells and close to optic nerve close to optic nerve they go on od cells on od cells close to optic nerve on od cells and then inner middle turbinate inside middle turbinate inside concha bullosa most common variation is concha bullosa they grow inside the inside inside middle turbinate now two plus minus three cells we have uh, constant and vestibule vestibule where ethmoid sinuses 
and and is sphenoid sinus starts when ethmoid sinus and is sphenoid sinus starts ethmoid sinus starts developing in embryological life they start developing in embryological life ethmoid sinus is most developed sinus at birth ethmoid sinus is uh, sinusitis is most common sinusitis in children sequence of appearance of sinuses radiologically it is m e s f m e s f embryologically radiologically most earliest present at birth maxillary ethmoid uh, then uh, the sphenoid develops then frontal develops 6 years and 4 years we have m e s f m e s f maxillary ethmoid sphenoid at 4 years frontal at 6 years which sinus attains adult size in the last it is sphenoid adult sinus is gained at the end by sphenoid don't say frontal frontal develops at 6 years but it achieves adult size before before the uh, sphenoid sinus Sy structure draining into nasal cavity what structure is drained into nasal cavity nasolacrimal duct wire drains into inferior meters valve of Hazner surround is this opening valve of Hazner okay maxillary sinus frontal sinus anterior ethmoidal sinus where do they drain middle meters they drain in middle meters maxillary sinus frontal sinus anterior ethmoidal air cells drain in middle meters posterior ethmoidal cells superior meters they develop uh, drain in sphenoid sphenoid sinus sphenoethmoidal recess S E R. How it drains sphenoid sinus, sphenoethmoidal recess. Surgical opening of dacrocystorhinostomy (DCR) is made into the middle meters. DCR made into the middle meters. Okay. Now we have middle meters. What is middle meters? How middle meters? Most important arrow um, area for sinus drainage. Maxillary sinus, frontal sinus, anterior ethmoidal sinus drain in the middle meters. Okay, it has four uh, la landmarks. Wh what are the four landmarks? Bulla ethmoidalis, B E, Bulla ethmoidalis, unsinuate process, ethmoidal infundibulum, hiatus semilunaris. These are so we have this forms osteomatal complex. What forms osteomatal complex? Ethmoidal bulla and ethmoidal bone, ethmoid bone and ethmoidal bulla. Oh, this forms. Uh, what form is it? Bulla ethmoidalis, ancinate process, ethmoidal infundibulum, hiatus semilunaris. What do they form? OMC. They form OMC, ancinate process is sickle shaped bone which covers bulla ethmoidalis. Ethmoid infundibulum is space between bulla ethmoidalis and ancinate process. Hiatus semilunaris is entry door to ethmoid infundibulum. We have maxillary sinus, frontal sinus, anterior ethmoidal sinus drain into ethmoid infundibulum area of middle meters maxillary sinus frontal sinus anterior ethmoidal sinus drain into ethmoidal infundibulum area of middle meters is if osteomatal complex is blocked due to mucosal edema it will lead to blockage of drainage of sinuses sinusitis if sinusitis persists greater than three months chronic rhinosinusitis it is called chronic rhinosinusitis Symptoms of sinusitis, ethmoid, chronic sinusitis. What are the symptoms of chronic sinusitis? Nasal blockage, purulent discharge, post nasal drip, decreased sense of smell, cheek pain, cheek pain, maxillary sinusitis. We have office headache, office headache, daytime headache, frontal sinusitis, vertex, occipital um, headache. We have sphenoid sinusitis, lower eyelid swelling, maxillary sinusitis, upper eyelid swelling, frontal sinusitis, okay, uh, pain at medial canthus, ethmoid sinusitis, investigation of sinusitis, diagnostic, diagnostic nasal endoscopy, best investigation, diagnostic nasal endoscopy, best investigation to diagnose uh, sinusitis, endoscopic use, what, what endoscope we use, 30 degree endoscope, 0 degree endoscope, we use for DNA, we use 30 degree endoscope, 0 degree endoscope. This endoscopy has three phases. What are the three phases? First pass, second pass, third pass. We have is along inferior turbinate. First pass, inferior turbinate. Second pass, above middle turbinate. Third pass is into middle meters. Into middle meters. So first pass, inferior turbinate. Second pass, middle, middle turbinate. 
and third pass into middle meters right middle meters so we have uh, x-ray paranasal sinuses Weber, uh, water's view with open mouth water's view open mouth drink water ah open your mouth drink water the best x-ray view for sinuses open mouth is to include sphenoid sinus in x-ray okay x-ray shows all sinuses except posterior ethmoidal sinus x-ray shows all sinuses except posterior ethmoidal sinuses best radiological x-ray view maxillary sinus waters view occipitomental view we have frontal and ethmoid sinus call called well wells view called wells view occipital frontal view we have sphenoid sinus x-ray sickal lateral view ct scan best radiological investigation for sinuses for fungal sinusitis mri is better than ct for fungal we go for mri treatment of chronic rhinosinus antibiotic decongestant for three weeks decrease if there is relief surgery if there is no relief pass we do functional endoscopic sinus surgery that is the best surgery okay then we have uh FES. we have functional endoscopic sinus surgery main aim of FES to reopen the drainage of sinuses we steps ansinectomy removing bulla ethmoidalis complications of FES hemorrhage significant hemorrhage is seen from anterior ethmoid um, uh, right orbital fat prolapse fat prolapse decrease endophthalmosis and ophthalmos orbital fat prolapse leads to end and ophthalmos we have complications of pes injury to medial rectus muscle diplopia optic nerve injury uh, ica injury sphenoid sinus surgery csf rhinorrhea is due to injury to cribriform palate of ethmoid bone most common long term complication of fes sinusiki formation and adhesions topical application of mitomycin reduces chances of sinusiki formation anti fibroblastic action of my mitomycin c okay we have nasal polyp it is prolapse pedunculated edematous mucosa of sinus prolapse prolapsed pedunculated edematous mucosa of sinus is called polyp etiology chronic infection allergy chronic inflammation edema leads to polyp so we have nasal polyp have two types endoconal polyp or kilianus polyp endoconal polyp also called kilianus polyp or we have ethmoid polyp it is called a nasal polyp yang syndrome what is yang syndrome azospermia nasal polyposis bronchiectasis and chronic rhinosinusitis we have yang syndrome it involves azospermia nasal polyposis bronchiectosis chronic rhinosinusitis we have cartagenous syndrome it is bronchiectosis bronchiectasis chronic sinusitis situs inversus and nasal polyposis endoconal polyp so we have kilianus polyp ac polyp it arises from maxillary sinus and grows posteriorly to the scona it is better seen on posterior rhinoscopy most common in children due to chronic infection single unilateral it has endoscopic polypectomy we do fast recurrent is recurrence is less common ethmoidal polyp nasal polyp arises from ethmoid air cells more common in adults due to allergy multiple bilateral topical steroid nasal therapy fluticasone mometasone if uh, decrease if fails oral steroids fes but recurrence is very common systemic diseases linked with nasal polyp ethmoidal formation asthma cystic fibrosis yang syndrome cartagenous syndrome sampter stride nasal polyp ethmoid polyp asthma allergy to aspirin and seeds allergic fungal rhinosinusitis most common fungus aspergillus fumigates immuno competent patients normal immunity type 1 and type 3 allergic reaction clinical pictures allergic nasal mucin very thick allergic nasal mucin very thin peanut butter appearance of mucin have eosinophils have chronic laden crystals fungal hypi present ct scan 
shows heterogeneous nasal polypus double density polyp uh, <coughs> elemental polyp treatment of allergic fungal sinusitis phase <coughs> for over or oral steroids antifungal drugs thank you please see the second video we have uh, covered all uh, the news in few videos please go through all the videos and while you are driving while you are sleeping while you are trying to sleep or do something please like and subscribe thank you